Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and I hope you're all doing great. So today we got the 2X Sacred Shard event going on. Now we have a 10X going on for Draco Morph as well, which let me know who got him. Is the 10X actually on or is this just an April Fool's joke from Plarium? I'm leaning towards the April Fool's joke from Plarium, but we never really know. But then again, I feel like 10Xs are always April Fool's jokes. Now, look, we have Karada, oh, no, Martyr, Karada, War Mother, Drekstar. <laughs> I see no Draco Morph whatsoever throughout this list. So today... I'm going to be pulling for the Nari the Lucky Fusion, and more importantly, I'm going to be pulling to get a video out to you guys, because if I did a video just saying, hey, nobody probably watch it, so we got to do a sharp pull um, session to go along with that, but I hope you're all doing well. So I didn't have a video done yesterday. Yesterday, I went to get um, LASIK, or PRK is what it's called, LASIK I had done on my right eye. I went back to get something called PRK done on my left, and it kind of, it wasn't super comfortable, so I didn't have a video done yesterday. I should have, but... I got a few hopefully interesting videos coming up over the next few days for you guys planned out. Hopefully we can get those done and everything. Uh, Vergus, awesome champion. Absolutely amazing champion, especially uh, for some solo content. Great high elf champion in general. If you pull him, congrats. We got him. I already got one of them built up. I'm not going to build a second one. I would really love a Rodos. Rodos is who I would absolutely be more than happy with. Rodos is by far my most wanted champion right now. Um, as far as like new affinity legendary champion zelata also a good champion i have used him on some other people's accounts for some takeovers and he actually did pretty good places just shield buff on all allies equal to 20 percent of this champion's max hp for three turns continuous heal buff on all allies for three for two turns as well he's a pretty solid champion for sure we have five more shards i'm hoping to finish out the enough stuff to at least do the nari the lucky fusion because the last few fusions i've messed up i do think nari the lucky is going to be good for hydra so i am looking forward to getting him for that Bushy, Bushy, how you say his name? I think I did get take one to six star during this Crisk event, but to be honest, uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to use him. So we have pulled, what, four sacred so far? Luria, she's a great champion. Uh, block Revive on this A2 ability. Hits pretty hard. Very solid Block Revive. Super good if you're going to use it in the arena. Spirit Affinity Champion. So depending on where you're at in the arena, may or may not be good because if you're in lower levels of arena, a lot of people run Magic Affinity Champion, so she's going to be getting a lot of weak hits. Uh, but we got three more shards, hopefully a legendary. Let me know who did you pull? What legendary did you pull? Hopefully you guys pulled one. We have double, we have boosted rates going on. So I'm hoping you guys got something good. If we don't get anything good from this, I may have to crack open some voids because I do want to finish out this summon event. Aothar, good poisoner. We got so many good poisoners nowadays though. Last shard right here. Let's see what we got, guys. It's got to be a legendary, right? Plarium's not going to debate me. They're not going to set up a April Fool's joke, a cruel at that April Fool's joke. Um, giving me no legendaries whatsoever out of seven shards. Dang, they actually did it. Plarium went and did it. Not only did they not give me anything, no legendary, they didn't give me anything that good even. So let's see. There's actually an epic champion who I don't have. That epic champion, well, like a one that's been out for a while. Okay, some of the newers I don't have. Miscreated Monster, why are you evading me, dude? Why are you evading me? It makes no sense. This account it was, a, it was a pretty decent spender, right? Like, let's look at my Void Legendary Champions. I have four, so I have, I guess, five copies of Ray. I have a pretty good amount of Void Champions. Uh, we're looking at my Vault. I have even more Void Champions there. Pretty good amount of Champions overall. But somehow, I don't have an Affinity Epic Champion who's been out since this account's been around. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Let's go ahead and pop some Ancient Shards for the sole reason I want to get the Fusion event closer to being finished. And I, I'm almost 100% sure with what I have, I'm not anywhere close to that. Maybe we get lucky and pull a legendary, but more realistically, we're going to get rare, rare tax. Ooh, I absolutely love it. Let's see where we're at in this event, guys. Did your pulls go like mine? I'm going to post this video anyways, because some of you may be considering buying shards. Maybe somebody's posting a bunch of really good pulls, and maybe you're considering buying shards. You're about to pull the trigger on a small loan to purchase all these shards in the string pack. But this video maybe discourages you from doing that, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six shards for what does this pack cost? Probably 130, 150, maybe even 200 bucks. It's a decent amount of money, right? For what's very easily going to be upsetting. That's two, four, five, six. So it's, yeah, it's actually one less than what I pulled just now. I'm going to feed some champions real quick and see if we can't go ahead and open those last little bit of ancient shards. I've been trying to save those up for a 2x event, but hey. You know what? Might as well pull them right now. Next 2x event should be Voids. Maybe we get an epic, an epic at least, at least a few epics. That'd be nice. Okay, three epics. We got Drake, the, the uh, lesser version of Draco Morph. I guess we got the 10x going on for Drake at least, right? Um, not exactly what I was hoping for, but 
we got these three champions, so it's not that bad because now we should be at least closer to the Nari Lucky Fusion and be able to finish that up. Because I didn't do the summon event last time. I do need to do this one. We got the 15 frags. I'll probably go ahead and wait, only 1850 points. Okay. I was hoping to get the legendary book here as well, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that, unfortunately. I'm a little too far away from that to actually get that to actually for it to make sense. Sorry, I was looking over my recording and for a second there, I thought my thing was actually not recording. <laughs> That's terrible. Shard pull videos are the absolute worst thing to look over and realize, hey, my video hasn't been recording the entire time because you can't really redo that, right? Unless I go in and buy all the shards again, which I would just not post, of course, because uh, I'm not buying all the shards again. We're going to go ahead and open these last few uh, ancients to maybe get enough to get that legendary book because I'm getting pretty low on legendary books. I booked out my Chris, which I'll show you guys how he's built in just a second. I booked out, I think, Sir Nick. I booked him out as well during this event. The uh, CVC previous one, which we did end up losing. It was a very close CVC match, uh, but I do need to start stockpiling some legendary books for the next CVC match, right? I like CVC. I think CVC is actually a, an oddly enough kind of fun time, especially if you win during personal rewards. But even if you don't, the competition there, it's sometimes pretty fun. Now, champion training, <laughs> good old champion training. Not like we just did plenty of that, but I do have to finish this as well. Let me show you guys my Crisk, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this video up, guys. Let me know down below, what did you pull? Did you pull anything good? Did you get kind of luck like mine? Not really any luck whatsoever. Maybe we get some sacred shards during Nightmare Clan Boss. That has to be the best time to get them, is during times where you're wanting to pull sacred shards and actually getting them from the Nightmare Clan Boss. So what I have my Crisk currently built like, uh, which some of you may be interested, some of you may not even care, Obviously, the Crisk event was very, um, I guess, polarizing. Some people absolutely loved it, and some people absolutely hated it and despised every second. But 236 speed, mostly for Hydra. We have 4,000 defense, 64,000 HP. Basically, I'm trying to push his HP pretty high. His resist, um, supposed, supposedly at a good rate, to resist pretty far into the Hydras. What my goal was, um, resist those buffs being stolen. The accuracy, 254, also a very solid amount. Masteries, we have this setup. I do have War Master on him right now. I could definitely switch it to something else, but the little extra damage from his A1 and his A2 ability, they both hit all enemies, so maybe we get some War Master procs from those, which is very nice, but he's fully booked. I've only used him literally one time on Hydra, but we'll I'll be using him more on this rotation, hopefully trying to get a pretty good key, maybe be able to dump two solid, very strong keys into hard, because we don't quite have Brutal unlocked yet. But with that said, guys, I hope you guys had great luck with your sharp pulls today. Hopefully they went better than mine. But either way, thank you all very much for watching. I look forward to catching you on my stream within the, in the next like 30 minutes or so. If you're watching the video soon after it goes live, thank you all. And I'll catch you in the next one.